I want to show you something. For those of you that are regular viewers of the channel, you will know that this car used to smoke more than Snoop D R Double G himself. But now, there's no smoke. Right, give it a rev. Another one. Okay, so to fix the smokiness, we just had to time the fuel injection. When it was injecting the fuel before, too much fuel was going in, it wasn't being burnt properly and created loads of smoke. Now that's sorted and the car is running so much better. A lot better. A lot better. It's, no, a, a, little bit better. it's a little bit better. A little bit better. Today we're going to install one of the most important parts of a Land Rover. It is the mud guards that we've got here. They're really important because they protect the wiring and the wheel arches and also they stop mud getting all over the car. So today we're going to show you how it's done by two professionals. Mud guards can be super expensive and the quality can't be great, but luckily we got ours from DDS Metal. They've arrived, they look great, the quality is great and they're really reasonably priced. So if you do need a pair of mud guards, head over to DDS Metal and we'll put the link in the description for you to check them out. So as you install these mud guards, they come with essentially small holes along there. There's a good example in there. If you get in there, you can see. There you go. Actually, we need to install that one. Yeah, we missed that one, didn't we? Yeah. You need to buy these clips in order to put the car together. <laughs> <laughs> the whole car is held together with these fucking clips. When, when installing mud guards, you also need to purchase these little clips. They come like this, and essentially you put this bit in there, a bit like how kids are made, and when you push it through, <laughs> it widens it, and it holds the mud guard in place. So, I'm going to put this one in for you now. Eight. It's not going in. But they do go in. They do go in. I promise. almost all the clips in unfortunately our bodywork is about as straight as a roundabout so it's a bit uneven but the good thing is we've got 90% of the clips in and it looks really good and most importantly it's doing its job of protecting all the important wiring so one of my favorite personal modifications we made to this car what do you think I'm um, 100% agreed Ben started to get a little bit cranky it's late in the day we're gonna head off to the pub now we'll take you along for the ride <laughs> reserve tank should we need it the fuel gauge doesn't work so it probably makes sense to have one just arrived at the pub we are leaking some oil but nothing to worry about right men yeah <laughs> just got back from the pub and as you can see the wheel arch is doing their job what a machine. We'll see you next time.